In the uh, last video, I showed you how to set up your uh, your buttons here across the bottom of your channel. We talked about your graphic arts. Just some advice: you can get the graphics created for you at Fiverr.com. You can get your your little uh, graphics that you're going to use for your thumbnail at Fiverr.com. I happen to be good at YouTube, and I had a buddy by the name of Ian Michael Biggs who did this nice little piece of graphic right here. So I got to give credit where credit is due. So Ian did that, and I just slapped my ugly mug over top of it. I want to show you something here that's really important. You remember when I did the upload video, it had a bunch of my stuff already preloaded for there, my preferences. And that kind of just makes things easy because you want to, you know, send out as many videos, upload as many videos as possible. That's a very uh, important uh, thing to, to keep in mind. So uh, let me show you how you do that. When you're sitting here in, in on your, on your uh, page, also I'm sitting on my channel, you click on Video Manager right there, and that brings up a whole stream of things over here and one of these that you can look at is this channel right here click here for channel and you can go down to uh, upload defaults and um, here I have it go to unlisted because I like to look at it when it's uploaded I don't want people looking at it until they are you know we're ready for it to go I pre-picked my category I, a standard YouTube license means it will get syndicated you could put any sort of uh, uh, advanced like a he headline you can change this when you're uploading it but maybe what I do here is is put uh, traffic university and then a colon and then I can put my description after that uh, and then there's a link to my group here and there's uh, all my hashtags and when you upload it you can change that and you can add in let, let's say you're promoting your uh, uh, leaders league 360 you, you put your you want to make sure your link is in the very top right here so people can find it real quickly. And then, you know, maybe you have certain content you want to always show up like, uh, you know, like um, I'm the master of the world and if you do what I do, you're going to be a great person. Life's going to be wonderful and all that. So, I mean, those those are the sort of functions that, that you can do um, very easily. So when you go to upload your videos, um, you'll be able to upload them when you hit this upload button and will automatically have the stuff loaded for you so then you don't have to remember let's say maybe the link to your landing page in my case I'm promoting the the Facebook group but or your hash codes are already loaded all these things are already done for you so you don't have to worry about it it's a very cool way to get things set up there's some other things you can do in here um, in, in the channel you get your status and features we're gonna go oh, I'm gonna stay on that page and save it because I made a change I like to have that traffic university thing there I haven't done that before go to status and features are you in good standing? I hope so. Uh, if you want to monetize, this is where you have an Ad, AdSense account and they put ads on your. My recommendation is not to do that. Um, you want to monetize paid content stuff. No, none of these things are really that important. I don't really deal with that. If you have like a, you know, you want people to pay you money, you, you'd have to approve and get that pre-approved. Um, featured content would be something that scrolls uh, is available as your channel ad. Um, branding is you can put a watermark on your videos. Um, and uh, these are things I don't necessarily recommend. And on advance here, of course, I have my account information. I allow advertisements to be displayed alongside my videos. I don't want videos, the, the ads to show next to my, my uh, video, so I'm going to take that. I can link it to an AdSense account if I wanted to. I have it associated with a website right now. Uh, but still, it's still pending, and that's I'm, I'm not sure why it's pending. It could be because it's Facebook, um, but you can put in a website that will always be associated with it. Um, you can t channel recommendations allow my channel to appear in other channel recommendations. So let's say somebody's looking at uh, Rob Fraser's um, YouTube account because it's similar to mine. It, mine would be a recommendation. My channel would be recommended, especially the more people that are subscribed to it that it uses that. Um, and then I'm not shy. I'm going to let people see how many people are subscribed to my channel. And if you want to use Google Analytics, you can always put that in there as well. So I'm going to just save these changes. And that's a very quick way to show you how to have it set up to where when you upload your videos, you've got all your, you know, your default settings set. Not everything can be changed at the time you do it. Uh, and you can absolutely, you know, this makes it easier to like not forget to put your link in there or to um, make sure you have the right hashtags you want in there. Um, make sure, you know, some people have like a content like a description or a disclaimer, you know, all this stuff is 
pirated software or whatever, you know, they have something that they put in every single video and they just load it in here so they don't have to, uh, to uh, uh, remember and type it out every time. It's just there. Now, now, it's a great idea to add additional content to make each one of these unique and not just post this. Like, once you go to upload it, you might have a transcription of the actual, of the actual uh, audio so that you can get indexed by search engine and, and get even more traffic. There's a whole lot of different things you can do, but we'll cover more of those later. And I just wanted to show you how to uh, change your upload defaults.